K through third grade will return to in-person learning at IPS schools. All students will not go back to the classroom until the week of October 19th. Fox 59's Kelly Rinke got a look inside today to see what students and parents can expect. Starting Monday, 130 kids will be in class at Daniel Webster Elementary. It's going to be the first time these teachers get to see their students in person since March. So I've been slowly like making a to do list and kind of just like doing a little bit of things at a time. Fifth grade teacher Kristen Villanueva is settling into her classroom for the first time since March. It feels really good. This is my place. Um, this is my place. This is my school. She's getting the room ready before her students return in a few weeks for in person learning. There are desks instead of communal tables to enhance social distancing. So I plan on doing that by putting down colored tape. So that way they know like this is my space. Nobody else comes into my space. Students will not share supplies and all work will be done on computers rather than paper handouts. I think it'll be definitely easier when we come back because there are still some kiddos who struggle with the online format. There are procedures for almost everything. Stickers on the floor show kids which direction to walk in hallways. Grades K through eight will grab lunch in the cafeteria and then eat in their classroom. There are touchless water fountains and there's even an isolation room in case a child shows symptoms of COVID-19. With that social distancing already put in place uh, is really one of the big things we're doing to make sure that we can contact trace. Principal Allison Peter Kim believes it will be very helpful to only have a few grades return to school on Monday. Really lets us see which procedures and processes might need to be tweaked before all of the students are back. I miss them a lot and I really am glad for them to be coming back. Usually 400 students attend this school. More than 300 opted for in-person learning and most of those students will not be taking the bus. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, Fox 59 News.